Experts say the back-scratching relationship between President Trump and Fox News is unlike anything in the history of American media. Trump just keeps proving them right. Oh, and Sunday he defended two of Fox's right-wing opinion shows and criticized three of the network's news anchors. Most notably of all, he used Twitter to send a long message to Fox executives, urging them to stay true to the people that got you there. It was like Trump was saying to his favorite television network, keep having my back and I'll have yours. During a busy day of tweets he also insulted CNN, complained about late night shows, and mused about a government investigation of the comedy show Saturday Night Live. The sheer volume of tweets, suggesting a St. Patrick's Day full of TV watching, was a testament to Fox's influence within the White House. Most of the media, outlets and personalities involved just shrugged off the president's missives. Fox News and its parent company declined to comment. Be why now it's not news that Trump likes to promote Fox News and disparage its rivals. At times his social media accounts read like giant advertisements for Fox's right-wing view of the world. But he has clear favorites within the Fox world, friends like Sean Hannity. Pete Hegseth and Saturday night host Janine Perro. When Perro questioned Congresswoman Ilhan Omar's patriotism last weekend, Fox condemned the host's comments and, according to a source familiar with the matter, privately suspended her. The suspension, no matter how short-lived, was an unusual step for Fox to take. And Trump evidently noticed that she was absent on Saturday because he tweeted, bring back at Judge Janine Perro on Sunday morning. Trump said Democrats and the media were trying to silence a majority of our country. This was an apparent allusion to a recent campaign by a liberal group, Media Matters, to call out Tucker Carlson and pressure Fox's advertisers. They have all-out campaigns against at Fox News hosts who are doing too well, the president wrote, sounding like a concerned fan. Fox must stay strong and fight back with vigor, he wrote. Stop working so hard on being politically correct, which will only bring you down, and continue to fight for our country. His messages seem to be aimed at people like Fox patriarch Rupert Murdoch and Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott. But he did not tag anyone specific in his tweets. He offered free business advice, claiming that the losers, presumably other channels, all want what you have, don't give it to them. Be strong and prosper be weak and die. Stay true to the people that got you there. Trump concluded by telling Fox to keep fighting for Tucker and fight hard for at Judge Janine.